This video will discuss force field parameters. So a parameter, in general, is just some arbitrary constant whose value characterizes some element of a system in our simulation. So for example, in the total energy function in AMBER, which is a molecular mechanics energy function, the total energy has a term which depends on the bonds in the system. You have each bond has an energy determined by a parameter KB times the bond length minus a parameter REQ, quantity squared, and then there are various other terms in the energy uh, function that continue on from there. So the energy overall uh, frequently might be indicated in a unit like kilocalories per mole or kilojoules per mole or joules or any kind of uh, any kind of unit. The unit I'm frequently going to be using in this chapter and others will be kilocalorie per mole. And a common unit of distance for atomic scales would be angstroms. That'll also be the unit I'm using for distance. So in order to make this total energy be in kilocalories per mole, we need to make all these things cancel out. So we have R is going to be in angstroms here. So we're subtracting something that has uh, we're subtracting from something that has units of angstroms, so we better be subtracting angstroms there. So our equilibrium bond length there has a unit of angstroms. And multiplying something by angstroms to get kcal per mole, or multiplying angstrom squared, because we square this, multiplying something that's angstrom squared by kcal per mole, we better get kcal per mole as a result. So our k here, which is our what we would call a spring constant in the next video, is equal to uh, is units of kcal per mole angstrom squared. So, for example, the water molecule in amber 95, which is the uh, the exact energy function that we're going to be using for H2O, the OH bond length in water in amber 95 has an equilibrium bond length of 0 0.96 angstroms and it has a spring constant of 553.0 kilocalories per mole angstrom squared. So these values are typically published somewhere or they're deep inside of some uh, uh, program that you can uh, download and install. Some of them free, some of them not free. So for example, the amber 95 parameters were published in this paper, which I mentioned in the previous video as well. Uh, Jack's 1995, uh, 117, page 5179 is the citation. You can take a look at that if you have some type of access to, uh, to online uh, journals through your institution. And in this chapter, I'm going to be going through a program that I've used to implement that energy function and some other stuff. So from my GitHub account, you have the Computational Chemistry Repository, as in the previous chapter. And then from the top level directory of that, we have the Scripps Molecular Mechanics MMLib directory. And all the Amber 95 or 94, whichever it is, parameters are in this uh are in this module param.py and this includes uh, some Python dictionaries that include all that good stuff. So if we go to bond parameters and we find for example HWOW, which one comes first? OWHW, you see 553.0, 0 0.9572 and those are the two parameters that I just mentioned there uh, for our uh, amber 95 water OH bond. Okay, so where do we get these parameters from? How do we choose them? So there are several different strategies you could use depending on your uh, goal applications. You might look at various structures, either crystal structures of, of various, you know, proteins, uh, uh, crystals, etc. Maybe you look at ver like electron density maps or other kinds of things. Maybe the maybe you're trying to reproduce the density of water, or uh, to choose this bond length. You might look at spectra. You might look at IR spectra. So they probably chose this spring constant to represent to uh, to replicate the uh, vibrational frequency of some of the bonds in water. 
Uh, you might look at NMR spectra can have information about various structural properties inside of it. Or you might come from more advanced simulations. So in what's increasingly being done these days is you'll do some type of uh, quantum mechanics based simulation to derive parameters which might give you some potential energy surface from which you could derive these parameters for uh, other molecules where the experimental information might not be available or might not be very high quality. Okay, so some types of uh, of properties that you would desire in parameters. You would desire that they are general, that they can apply to uh, any kind of any kind of molecule, any kind of situation. So I wouldn't want different parameters for water, to, whether it's interacting with different kinds of molecules. I don't want to have to, you know, redefine it if it's at a different temperature. I don't want, and I might want, um, you know, pr parameters for a wide variety of molecules. I might want them to be transferable. So for example, if I derive parameters for butane, I probably want those parameters to work for pentane or hexane as well. Hopefully those are pretty similar and I can transfer those parameters from similar systems and interchange them. And then lastly, we desire that they would be accurate. So whatever type of property that we're hoping to reproduce in a simulation, we would hope that our choice of parameters is such that um, whatever properties we desire to simulate, we're going to be able to do so with some type of high degree of fidelity to the original uh, chemical system that we're trying to model.